Stinginess in relation to INTJs is not just the unwillingness to spend money, but also the unwillingness to spend time with others, share knowledge with lazy people in order to force them to be independent, and the unwillingness to be sympathetic with others without reason. INTJs are the most generous beings, and their generosity knows no bound as well as their stinginess. INTJs are stingy with time in order to maximize efficiency. They are stingy with knowledge in order to motivate lazy people to take action, and they don't sympathize with others without reason because they don't want to give people more attention than they deserve. Stinginess is not intended for harm towards the person it is directed at or to cause another person's downfall. Instead, it is intended as a motivation for self-improvement. INTJs are stingy with knowledge towards lazy people because they want them to be independent and more dependable. Not knowing or being unable to solve issues on your own to INTJs means exposing yourself for others to take advantage of. INTJs are independent and want everybody around them to be independent as well. Being independent is a virtue that all INTJs highly uphold and that is why they hate asking for favors because they don't want to be indebted and feel less dependable. So from time to time, if you notice your INTJ friend or partner withholding information from you, take it as a wake-up call and not as stinginess. Another commodity that INTJs are stingy with is time. Time to INTJs means everything. They value their time more than they value money. They need time to process new information, to adjust to change, and above all, they need time to study in order to avoid being dependent on others. Time is constantly on high demand to our NGGs as nature continually presents them with new information that keeps whetting their endless appetite for knowledge. And any cause that does not justify time management is worthless to our NGGs and is dealt with by stinginess. Coming to the real meaning of stinginess, most youth spend their money on drinks and drugs, but the INTJs spend more on books and healthy living. Of all the 16 personality types, INTJs are the least likely to do drugs and the most likely to live longer. They prefer to donate to charity their excesses rather than spend it on chemicals that will hide people's emotions and further plunge them into addictions. Our entities by nature are rational beings. They are born minimalist and do not indulge in excesses. They spend their money according to needs and wants. They see possibilities and investment opportunities all the time and use stinginess to maximize their chances and at the same time motivate others to take action and be independent from others. Thanks for watching.